Good morning, everyone. Uh, David Paul speaking. I'm the uh, managing director of VectorVest in the UK. And this morning, I want to talk about uh, uh, swing trading uh, and swing trading with VectorVest, uh, a process that's worked exceptionally well uh, since uh, the market made a low uh, way back in March. <clears throat> so uh, to start, I, I want to look at the uh, uh, USA market and uh, uh, that's the vector best composite of the USA uh, over the last six months. And uh, on that, I think you can see the red and the green triangles. Those are our medium term market timing model. Uh, normally I put on the long term market timing model in these uh, particular interviews, but today we're talking about swing trading and we need to be uh, looking at uh, a market timing system that reacts uh, to market turns a little bit quicker. Uh, the market timing system is totally and utterly objective and uh, it will automatically put those red and green triangles onto the chart. And I think you can see the last green triangle that occurred in the USA on the 6th of April. And uh, the uh, DEW, that's what it's called, market timing system, is still positive since the 6th of April. Uh, the uh, green line study below the prices are a market breadth indicator, the vector best buy sell ratio. And uh, that's shouting a warning uh, that this trend is mature, uh, the price is rising uh, and pushing up towards the February the 9th highs, but uh, the price, uh, sorry, the June the 9th highs, but the, uh, the, the, the buy sell ratio is not coming to the party. Nevertheless, the trend is strongly up. Uh, similar story in the UK. Uh, and in the UK, uh, the uh, DEW market timing system or medium term market timing system, in fact, went to a buy one day after the US on the 7th of April. And a similar warning story uh, from the buy sell ratio, although the trend is intact. Now, in swing trading, uh, what I want to try and do is to uh, hopefully buy a pullback in a very strong trend. And Vectorvest has a proprietary tool to find shares that are in the throes of a strong trend. It's called the Comfort Index. And uh, it looks at the trend of the share over the last three years. It looks at the volatility of the price plot. It looks at the fundamentals. And if the trend is strong and getting stronger, and the volatility is low, and the fundamentals are improving, those all score well. And uh, on a scale between uh, zero and two, above one, the trend uh, is up. And the further above one, the faster the trend is up. Uh, so at one click, that will find shares that are trending. Uh, and I put together, I'm going to start with the USA, uh, where the performance has been incredible. Uh, uh, I put together a very simple uni search on VectorVest to find shares. Now, these shares, uh, fi they, this search finds shares with a comfort index above 1.2 with a reasonable volume, the 50 day moving average of volume is greater than 200,000 shares. And I'm sorting all of the, a lot of shares come out of that. I'm sorting those shares by CI, the long-term trend times the earnings growth rate. So what I'm trying to do is to bring those shares to the top of the list with the best combination of trend and growth fundamentals. Now I ran that search on the 6th of April when the DEW medium term market timing system gave us a buy and I tested the top 10 and that's what's happened. Uh, the market's up 23%, the top 10 are up 80%. And uh, many of our people didn't hold them the whole way. They actually run this every month. Uh, if you started uh, at the start of the month and you held them to the end of the month, uh, all the months uh, since the uh, April low have been positive. So um, uh, many ways to skin the cat there, but nevertheless holding them uh, since uh, the 6th of April, a very, very positive uh, uh, result. Uh, now, in the UK, pretty much the same thing, except that I've narrowed it down to the FTSE 350 to make sure that there's lots of liquidity. Uh, again, the Comfort Index baseline at 1.2. And again, sorting all of the shares that come out of that by this combination of trend and growth rate. And uh, I ran that on the 7th of uh, April. And I tested from the 7th of April to last night. And 
the market's up 16% and uh, that uh, Unisearch is up 30%. Uh, there's one small uh, loser. So uh, done very, very well in the uh, UK and done exceptionally well in the US uh, over the last uh, few months. Uh, it uh, looks at the core uh, values of Vectorvest. One, we want to buy uh, shares with outstanding fundamentals. And for swing traders, that's all about growth fundamentals. That are rising, that are in the throes of a strong trend when the general market is rising. And when you can tick all three boxes, you can get very, very lucky at this. Anyway, uh, you don't have to take my word for it. If you go to vectorvest.co.uk, uh, you can take a 30-day trial of Vectorvest and you can replicate all of that for yourself. Uh, and any questions, you can get hold of me, david.paul at vectorvest.com. And that's my take on uh, swing trading made simple. It couldn't be much simpler than that. Uh, thanks very much. Uh, stay safe out there. Bye-bye.